Azimio La Umoja One Kenya flag bearer Raila Odinga and his running mate Martha Karua have assured foreign investors that their administration will provide a sustainable environment for their businesses to thrive in. Raila and Karua, who met over 80 senior representatives of the European Business Council in Nairobi, also pledged to offer political goodwill that will enable Kenya to be a gateway for foreign investment in the greater East and African region. But I want to give you an assurance that we are addressing, going to address these issues to make it easier for uh, investors and workers or companies which have invested in this country to receive work permits as quickly as possible. Also, the startups, registration of new companies in the country, we are going to make it much, much easier. I would say it will be easier than it is in Rwanda to open up a new business here in Kenya, okay? Uh, because people these days tell you to benchmark with Rwanda. I want to tell you that Rwanda will be a student of Kenya going in the future. Then uh, the bureaucracy is an issue generally, but we know uh, where we, we lost it. There's a report that was produced here in Kenya. It's called the Ndegwa Report of 1971 that allowed the bureaucracy to get involved in businesses. So you have a situation where civil servants are themselves directors or owning businesses which are competing with the private sector. This is a contradiction of its kind. And we are going to stop this. When we came into government under President Kibaki in 2002, the government demonstrated political will and Kenyans rose up in their thousands to support the government because it's something you can't do without support from the masses. And I think that uh, it's once we demonstrate as we will, political will, Kenyans are also tired, not just investors, it affects everybody. So we can assure you that we have loads of political will from the top and we will be able to garner the necessary support from the people to undertake these duties. Thank you.